Hello and welcome to the subject of the month for May. This month we're going to take a look at the new functionality in the increase decrease section of the feed calculation. I really like the new look version 5, so what changes have you made to the feed calculation? We've made it put much more functionality in it and made it easier to use. So if we go to feeding, number 8, feeding setup, you'll see there's a new icon here, increase decrease. So what does the increase decrease do? Essentially it allows us to feed the cows in a specific way before they calve, after they calve, and before they're dried off. So what we're able to do is define these periods here, and we can see now that we've put in an extra phase, this third phase, after calving, but we've also broken it down so that you can feed the first calvers, the second calvers, and the older cows in a predetermined way. Okay, can you show me how to set it up? Yeah, probably the easiest thing to do is just to explain the graphic initially. So if we go to graph, here we can see that we're going to feed everything one kilo two weeks before they're due to calve. So that would be applicable for antipala feeders. When they calve, we then take the concentrate from one up to three kilos in the first week. We've then got a secondary phase here between day 7 to 21, but we feed the animals differently. So for the first carvers, we take them from 3 up to 6. Second carvers, they go up to 7. And the older cows, they go up to 8. The new functionality is on this phase here, you're then able to have a specific third phase, and what will happen is the concentrate will then stay level. So it's only on day 52, when the feed calculation kicks in and we start feeding the cows based on milk yields, that the concentrate will change. So we know exactly what we're going to feed the animals in this initial phase. If we then want to change it, if we decide, no, we want the feed calculation to kick in earlier, what we need to do is to go to the graph, and we can just change the number of days here. So I'll reduce that to two weeks, and you can then see what effect that has on the graph. So now we start feeding based on milk yield on day 36. Okay, but that phase is too long. I'd like to do it over two weeks. All right, so we go to the grid. And here we see we have the settings for 21 days. So what we could do is we could adjust this so that it's done over two weeks. But remember, when you make a change here, it's really important just to graph it first before you see OK, because that way you can see exactly what you've done. So now, two weeks before, we gradually step the concentrate down so that seven days before the expected drying off date, they're on zero concentrate. So now I know exactly what the animals will be fed based on the stage of lactation, and it adjusts the amount of feed on a daily basis so they're gradually stepped up and down. Correct. That's the new functionality that you'll find in the increase-decrease. Remember, please call the help desk if you need any help using this new functionality.